Today we're going to have a little look at the Broom 29, which is currently on display for sale at the Brundle office here in the water in Brundle. Very low on tide today, actually, so we can, uh, yeah, got a little bit of a limited view on top. So it's a 1995 boat, hardtop version, very popular these, um, very good river boats. This one was actually re-engined, I think it was 2012, with the uh, single nanny diesel, 50 horse, it's the N450 in here, uh, by the local nanny agents. It's done about 350 hours since then, so actually a real low houred boat. Nice selling point for it there very well kept as well um i believe it was polished anti-fouled service summer of this year kept and used locally this will do the windlass on the front with the anchor extended pulpit rails good wide decks i've got the sunroof in the hard top as well shaft driven through that single diesel very economical perfect inland setup synthetic teak laid deck on the back and the central transom door so very good access you can see i've rolled up the uh the side canopy today to get through the uh the starboard side with the tide being so low but obviously when the tide's up you've got this nice transom access as well so very usable canopy on the back tv area on there as well there's those decks with a grab rail up top as well bow thruster on here very maneuverable Nicely polished up, clearly been very well looked after and cared for. I think the current owner's had it since, I think it's 2008. Uh, we'll double check that, but he's had it, yeah, a fair while in, in boat ownership terms. And you can see he has really kept on top of it. Just head to the aft end and I'll pop into the aft cockpit area. So you can see we've got these sort of split double seats in here. And then we've got these sort of patio doors which lead on into the wheelhouse. We'll head on in there in a moment and take a little look around. So into the wheelhouse now, we come through these patio doors. We've got the helm seat on the port side with a passenger seat as well. We've got that sunroof up top. I mean, the big draw with these is I think their versatility. Uh, obviously this time of the year, you can shut up these patio doors, put on the warm air heating, you, you're protected from the elements, uh, warm, cozy. But in the same breath, you just as a pan round, you open up these patio doors, drop the canopy. And summertime, you've got a, a lovely, open, sociable boat. So best of all weathers, really, especially British summertime. It certainly helps to have that feature. Sliding windows either side, just up on the helm. We've got bow thruster up here, obviously VHF, speed and depth locks data control panel with the new nanny diesel as we say very manageable easy to handle easy to use and down below we a couple of stairs we've got the seating on the starboard side l-shaped sofa there which does slide out to make a, a small double slash large single and then on the port side we've got a, a well-appointed galley Nice light timber finish in here, sink and drainer, plenty of stowage, high and low level stowage, and then we've got the oven grill and two burner hob there. And the refrigerator as well. Just pan round so you can see a bit more of what's going on. Heating control over that side there. But everything's in very good order, in interior and exterior. Very, very, very well presented. It's a real nice example. Heads on the port side. Jebsco toilet. Wet room style shower. Sink. Basin there. There's another table there. I think that pops in. So you've got the coffee table in here at the moment. But you can put in a, a, a more full-sized table, as it were. Just in the forward cabin, so you can see we've got a double berth in here. Stowage, there is just canopy and fenders on the bed at the moment. Under berth stowage, hanger locker on the starboard side. All the linings are good, nice, clean and tidy. Clearly been cherished in the 
13 year ownership. Just pan around the galley again. And that saloon seating area. And there's those patio doors that we mentioned all opened up. Nice sociable boat. Actually, you sit in the saloon here and you've got clear vision to, to anyone in the cockpit. So you've got quite a open plan space, which I always think is a nice touch with these. You get people aboard in different areas of the boat, but, but all together. I'll just pan around one more time. Let me see out the front there. And that's the Broom 29 here at the Brundle office. Any questions, queries, please do give the guys a shout. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to take a look around, please give us a call and uh, we'll get you in the diary.